hello and welcome once again today i'm going to show you how to do this little guy he is a needle felted teddy bear and i've covered him with wool to give him a fluffy look he is really cute and quite small and it's an easy project for beginners and i hope you find it useful and follow along let's get started I'm using the same core wool for it, so let's start felting. Here I'm using carded wool, Coriadale slivers, and I've rolled it into a ball and I'm felting it from all the sides using a multi tool. You have to keep felting from all the sides so that the shape remains equalized and there are no ends poking out. So I'm going to make a round shape to make the head of the teddy bear. It takes quite some time to get a firm shape. It doesn't have to be squishy, so you have to keep felting it till you get a good firm rounded ball. You have to squeeze it and see how firm it is. So as you can see, it's coming into shape. And you can determine the size you need. You have to make another ball a little bit bigger for the shape of the body. I've done a little sketch so I'm just using it as a reference. Now I'm giving it a muzzle. Just felting a piece of wool. You have to felt it down so it remains in shape and I'm adding it to the head to give it a mouth, a muzzle of the teddy bear. Using my needle, I'm giving it shape for the, where the nose will be and the muzzle. And now I'm going to add the eyes. I'm using an owl tool to make hole for the eyes. Using 5mm black ones that I have. And I'm going to glue them in after I make holes. Now I'm going to give it a little uh, eyebrows you could say or just a bit of wool that covers the eyes and they don't seem to be popping out of the head. So you just have to give them a little bit of shape. I'm using black wool to give shape to the eyes and I don't want just the two circles popping out. Again, I'm using little pieces of white wool to give it eyelids. So this is going to make the eyelids and cover the plastic eyes a bit.
with the body done now i'm going to make little tiny hands and just rolled a piece of wool and felt it down from one end because the other end is going to get attached to the body so you just have to keep them a bit fuzzy on the other end so it's easy to attach them now i'm going to do the legs and i'm just going to felt the middle of it because the, uh, the both ends are going to get attached one is going to get attached to the body and the other end is going to atta get attached to the paws you have to take two equal amounts of wool fairly equal just weigh them in your hands and see if they're equal and i'm going to just shape two little tiny paws Here I'm shaping the little toes, so like the teddy bear has, I'm making three of them and little tiny paws. I'm attaching them to the legs and I just have to keep it straight and felt it down and it will get attached to the legs now the limbs are ready and we have to attach them now to the body first the head goes on you have to felt it down to make it securely attached and now I'm attaching the arms to the body and then we have to place the legs and felt them down so it's all in shape before we give it the furry fuzzy look of the wool it has to be securely attached so none of the bars come off Now I've taken some grey wool and I'm going to give colour to the muzzle and make a nose. First it's the mouth. It's going to be grey. This will give it a prominent shape as well. Now I'm going to use a darker colored wool to make its nose and I'm going to felt it down and give it shape as I go along.
I'm using a very fine needle to make the facial details and I'm using a really small strand of wool to make its mouth. Again, I've taken a bit of gravel and I'm going to make its lower lip, the lower part of the mouth. I'm going to felt it a bit and fold it over so it has a neater edge to it and then I'm going to attach it below the muzzle so it has a lower lip. A little more grey on top of the nose and the forehead. Plus the rest of it will be covered with wool as you'll see later. I'm using some grey to cover the head and the face so it doesn't show the white doesn't show through when I put on the wool to give it the fur. I have a grey coloured wool, it's kind of a fuzzy wool uh, that has a fuzzy appearance and uh, I'm going to use it to give it the fur effect. As you can see that I'm just swirling it and making little curls out of it and uh, just have to swirl it and needle it down as you go along and the closer together you have it the more neater it looks. So you can use any wool that you have. I had this one at hand so I'm trying this one. Some people use the curly Japanese wool for giving an appearance of the fur and it's, it's used on dogs as well and uh, it gives a very neat effect. <clears throat> I learned this technique from Philippa. Uh, I follow her and uh, I've seen loads of her videos and she's a good one to follow and you learn a lot of tips from her. It's uh, Fils by Philippa on YouTube and I've learned a lot from her. I followed her beginner's videos when I started off so I thought I should mention her. As you can see it's, uh, it is a bit time consuming but it gives a good effect. Now I'm going to make the ears with the same grey wool that I used on the muzzle. Just a <clears throat> similar weighted wool like we made uh, the arms and the legs and just making a round shape. And they have to be fairly equal. Just making them neat. Use your hands to give shape to the wool and press them in your palms to, to flatten them. And I'm just going to try and make a neater edge. And this, they have to be the same size, so I'm just making an outline and folding it in. So they're fairly equal in size. I'm taking some pink wool and making the insides of the ears and when you felt it down it will come out from the other end so it's just better to see and uh, you can add more grey wool if you want at the back of it.
I'm making the edges a bit neater and uh, you can use posters and put them in between and fill them down. I learned this from Philippa as well and it gives a really nice neat edge to it. So it's really good when you're making nails or something that has a neat edge. So I'm going to do both the ears so they look similar. Now you'll see how the pink color comes from the back and you can see a bit of pink and I'm going to cover it with grey again so you don't see the pink coming out from the other end. Now you have to place them on the head and see how big you want them. Just pinch them and uh, shape them and then you have to attach them to the head. To the head. <clears throat> you can take them off and redo them until you're satisfied because uh, there's no harm in doing it again. If you make a mistake, they, just, they can just come off when you pull them and you can adjust the shapes. It's like uh, the pull is forgiving and you can make mistakes and then you can mend them as you go along. With the ears in place, I'm going to go ahead and cover the rest of it with the wool that I was doing. So now you can cover the edges with the wool and uh, the sharp ends won't show of the, where the ears are attached. And anyways, we have to cover the whole teddy bear with the wool. So it has a furry look. It has a teddy bear look. Now the head is done as you can see and it looks pretty neat. I'm going to do, do the arms the same way and I'm just going to do the top of the arm and uh, not the bottom because then it becomes really big and solid and won't look really nice. As you can see, I'm using the needle to swirl the wool and then needle it down. And you don't even have to use the other hand once you get the hang of it. It's really easy. Now most of the body of the teddy bear is covered and you can see how it looks and uh, just the bottom part is left now.
Now I'm using the grey wool to cover the tummy and it's the same grey color that I used for the muzzle and the ears. Now we have to cover the paws and I'm using an eggshell uh, colored wool, it's a merino top and I'm going to cover the feet or the paws with it. And I'm going to define the little toes with the needle and uh, I'm going to use a darker brown color to make them more, more prominent. Tiny little strands of wool to make the toe of the toes prominent and I'm going to make the heel pad with it as well, the same color. Now the eyelids are showing and I'm going to cover them with the little wool as well and that will finish it off. Now the little fuzzy teddy bear is all done. Thank you very much for watching my video and I hope you learned a few tricks from it and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe. And thank you very much.